Hello everyone, Kettle the Wise, welcome to the Fortress of Bad Gaming Decisions, where today we are back with, you guessed it, Jack and Daxter, Precursor Legacy, played through, PS Plus Premium, catalog, with some commentary from your boy. Um, as always, stay wise and enjoy the video, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and there you go, enjoy! And we're back. So here's a little uh, here's a little update on this game. I apparently am garbage at it. Thought I wouldn't be, but apparently I am. I don't know how much of it's me and how much of it's camera angle, but I honestly forget how much how annoying this game was to play jumping wise. I guess a lot of it's nostalgia, but I mean, for how old the game is, you know, it's not really. It was made in 2002. Fact checking myself right now. It was made in, first released in, that's what Wikipedia says, 2001. So it was released in 2001. It is officially 20, 21 years old. And for it to still play as good as it does on a, this would be, let's see, that was the PS2 it came out on. PS2, three, four, three generations later. Yeah, PS5. So three generations later, and it still plays how it would play if you played on PS2. I do die a lot, and that is a little bit frustrating. But overall, the jokes and the humor of the game are what really make it, and I think that's what really gets Naughty Dog on its, on its, on its, like, on its uh, its path to success for, yeah, on its path to success for the series. But, I really, I really do truly enjoy, I got my captain hat on today, I'm the captain. Captain Cold Wise here, thank you for joining. Uh, today we are adventuring on an embarkment on, a uh, return to playing an old game hoping for the best oh i'm gonna die again um other than that you know i think i think the game's genuinely fun the enemies i kind of don't know how to beat half the people but we try our best to play the game how we think we play this board i don't even know if i was really supposed to do this based on the story i was just like hey i was adventuring i was like ooh what's this over here? I didn't really know if I was supposed to go over here. Now here we are. Adventuring through the lost Picasso city. But this took me a while to actually beat all the way through. I think this video is probably going to be about 30 minutes long. And I don't think I got all the precursor orbs on here yet either. So we'll have to, you and me will both have to watch to so stay tuned to find out. Because I recorded this while hanging out with my girlfriend. So that's why, that's why I'm over. So I'm playing commentary over it. Don't really have commentary in it. You know, little things nice. So you miss a little bit of my... Oh, god dang it! I hate my time thing song. This is a pretty cool mechanism. With the, for a platformer game, this is actually pretty fun. Like, I've played multiple platformer games on my... Gonna be 32 soon. And I've been playing video games since I was nine. 23 years of playing video games. I've played a bunch of different platformers on a bunch of different consoles. And I, hands down, this is one of the best ones I've played in a long, long time. And that's why I'm coming back to it. Because I want to play it. I want to beat the whole series again. I want to relive my childhood. And I think that's the most important thing that a lot of people forget about. Is that you know, as you get older, a lot of people lose their, their childhood essence. And it's like they get older and they get grumpy and they get they get mean. They just like what like I get life is serious. And I get there's turmoils and stuff like that in life. But in the overall grand scheme of things, like 
gotta take, you gotta enjoy life and return and not lose your innocence of your childhood as much as people try to backstab you and destroy you and bring you down. You, know, you gotta just step it up, and take over. Some wise words from a wise fellow, I must say. So, you know, you just gotta take the opportunity to, like, return back to things that you thoroughly enjoyed as a child and thoroughly enjoyed as an adult, because you can't let that. That, that's what keeps you young and keeps you vibrant and keeps you full of joy and happiness. You just can't let the world's events and things around the world dictate how it impacts you. And then, you know, everyone gets so caught up in trying to survive, right? They forget to do things that they thoroughly enjoy that brings them happiness. You know, whether that's hunting or whether that's fishing or whether that's going for a walk or walking your dog or spending time with your dog or spending time with your family or having family, watching family time or sitting down and playing video games. Don't let nobody judge you. Whatever makes you happy, makes you happy. Whatever keeps your youth and your childhood alive, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And I think becoming, ironically, ironically, becoming a YouTuber, right? has actually brought back a lot of the happiness that I was that I was missing from my video games. Like, I'd play video games, I'm like, oh, I don't want to play this anymore. Or, oh, there's no new games out, or oh, whatever. And then I started this journey to play... Oh, man, I died, dang it. I started this journey on this YouTube to create this YouTube gaming channel, right? Just to pretty much just do it as a hobby. Like, I don't expect anything to come from this. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I release a video a day. I enjoy really, I enjoy editing. I enjoy making the videos. I enjoy playing the games I play. There are some games I don't enjoy playing, but hey, I would have played them regardless, even if I didn't have the YouTube channel. So <laughs> everyone might as well just watch me suffer in the game. And I think that doing that has truly brought back an essence of me that I might have lost a long time ago like i actually enjoy gaming now again like it's like uh it's something that i'm like wow like hey this is something that i thoroughly enjoy again and it's something that like the puzzles and just the sitting down and taking the moment to just enjoy being in the moment of playing the game and not having to worry about like how oh, do i have to do this do i have to do like i have all these other responsibilities to do all those responsibilities are done i can sit here and play and i don't have to like relax and just the mumblings of a rambling man. I'm just trying to trying to get back to my point is that if you find something that you thoroughly enjoy and makes you happy, you know, don't give up on it just because people say it's not gonna work or people say it's not gonna do what you gotta do. You know, you have to do it because you love it. Do it because it makes you happy and do it because it brings back an essence of you that you probably lost at one point in your life. And I think that's the biggest thing to take away from this is that there's just there's just things in life that make us want to become oh I did the puzzle see look at that big brain big brain and I messed it up but I think that, that the thing to take away from life is just that if you truly enjoy it go for it you know what I mean worst case scenario it doesn't work out but at least you know you went for it and you enjoyed it along the ride you know, things are hard, things aren't meant to be easy, things aren't meant to be super, are meant to be super, are meant, or sometimes are meant to be difficult on purpose, so you gotta figure it out as you go. You, know, you can't just, woe is me, you know, I get it, everyone has their issues and their dilemmas, but you can't just give up on that childhood essence of life, you know, because that makes, that means more to, to you and your own development than anything, because, how do I do this puzzle? I'm stuck. Oh, my big brain. My big brain's thinking. Look at it thinking. It's like, okay, can I jump here? And jump back. And jump there. Can I spin? We made it. And then, woo! We did it. We did it, Cover. We did it. We did it, Cover. We did it. Yeah, we did it. We did it, good boy. This is the, this is the thoughts of a rambling man, you know? It's, it's rambling. I call myself called the wise because I think I'm wise. But in the grand scheme of things, am I really wise? I never, never know. I never know. But I do feel like this stage of my life, doing these gaming, YouTube videos, just enjoying the process, I think has genuinely made me a happier person and a lot stress, stress free of a person because I don't take this as, I don't take it serious. Man. Get a bunch of views, get a bunch of views, don't get a bunch of views, don't get a bunch of views. I just enjoyed the process. I like editing, I like challenging myself to keep growing and get better at things. Like, like, I don't, like editing my videos, like talking to myself, big thing I do 
talk to myself all the time. And now I just enjoy sitting here, taking the time out of my mornings and have my mornings to myself to just do something that I generally want to do. That makes me happy in the end, you know, where am I going? Now here's where I got a little confused, because I I'm, I'm, know I'm missing a couple precursor orbs. So I'm like, oh, precursor orb up there. So I'm going to go get this puzzle. That read that all. Okay, we're good. And this is like a part-time gig, you know what I'm saying? So it's just the little things that I enjoy that bring a little bit of happiness. Not a little bit. More happiness to my life, just making me a better person. I think that's how you look at it. And if you have something that you generally want to go after, take the risk. Figure it out. Make it happen. But if it stresses you out in the process, then I don't recommend it. Stress is not health that way for body. But if it is something that's plausible, you can go for it. You know what I'm saying? That's my words of advice. It's stay wise, everyone. That's pretty much where it comes from. Because you got to make decisions that impact how you react to things. And whether that's playing a game that you don't know what it's going to be like, so you look up my YouTube channel. Or, you know, you like to sit down and draw. Or you like to sit down and doodle. Or you like to do whatever it is that brings back that essence of happiness and youth and refreshing to you. I think that's the way to go about life. You can't take life too serious, even though we're fighting off. We're all fighting to live. We're all doing things to try to survive and stay, stay, stay true, stay alive. And I think that eats up a lot. This part really pisses me off, this whole slide section. Because there's a lot of dynamite crates in my room. Ooh. All right, we're killing it. We're killing it so far. We're killing it. It's easy, easy, easy peasy, easy peasy. Right, Koval? Yeah, Koval, cool. good boy. So, you no, know, I think that's pretty much the rambling in my my thought process, right? If you do something you thoroughly love, and you love it because you love it, and you have a passion about it, the odds of you being more successful are a lot more grateful than if it's just, if you're just doing it to do it, or doing it for, for hidden purposes, or for whatever ulterior motives you got, you know what I'm saying? If you're doing a YouTube channel to make money, and you're not enjoying the content that you're putting out, or the process of it, is it really going to be successful? You know? Like... Ooh, confirmation from the dog itself or is it gonna be something that you don't enjoy so you end up quitting halfway through or a quarter way through or even three quarters of the way through when you're one step away from success is that something that you're willing to, to do yourself to make it happen is that something that's gonna happen it's just Figured out that puzzle, huh? Go for it. Uh, so, because then if you truly enjoy what you do and how much you do it, then it's not considered work or it's not considered a task. It's something you generally do, generally enjoy. So then all of a sudden you can go in to play it more, and then bam, here you are, a success because you did something out of love and not something out of. You know, ulterior motives that didn't that weren't going to be successful or stick as long. I think that's something some that other people, a lot of people do too, is that there's just no, there's just no, there's just none of that. People just do things because they want to do it for money or they want to do it for this or that or that. And then they end up seeing how difficult it is or how much work it is. This part is crazy how I got across this so easily, but I think that that's pretty much like how you have to view life in the, in the grand scheme of things, I think. Once you do that, things success comes very easy. Comes very easy to you. Because you're doing what you love, love what you do, and success comes. Also, you know, vision boards, powers of the universe, laws of 
laws of attraction and all that, all that good stuff also counteracts and balances things out and also being positive. Putting out positive affirmations into the world also helped too, but in the grand scheme of things, it is what it is, so you do what you gotta do. Now, pretty much, I'm just trying to beat this precursor one. This game probably gonna take me a while if I gotta do 30 minute episode segments, so just be aware, there's gonna be a lot of parts, a lot of parts of the grand one. So, I'm gonna make sure I don't, oh, I died, oh, I died again. And then don't forget, I'm gonna put a comment up somewhere, uh -huh. This way, yeah, right there. Your left side of the screen, my top right, this is the top left side of the screen, your right side of the screen. Sure, but, uh, yeah, that's how it goes. I'm gonna put my Returnal series on there. You guys can watch that from beginning to end. I'm essentially trying to beat the game, get this secret third ending. You probably didn't even know that there was a third ending, but there's a secret third ending. And you have to collect all the sun disc. The newest videos are me doing that, so stay tuned. And you know, pretty much. I'm just playing the game. Like, I play games just to play them because I love it. And that's just the best thing about it. Alright, Cole, will you whine in? You want some camera time? Come here. Come on. Come on. Cole, Cole's whining. He wants, some, he wants some camera time. Oh, yeah. There you go. You want some camera time? Yeah. You're the actual star of the show, right, Cole? Oh. oh, there we go. Yeah, you just want to be on the camera. Yeah, my, my little dog. A partner in crime. Not a bigger dog. Just doesn't like to be on camera. He's not on a camera. A camera, you know what I'm gonna say? Right, Coco? Yeah. He just wants a little bit of attention. I want to go back to your bed. There you go. You get there. Nope. This part, of, I think I did this part like three times or four times. This, this is what part frustrated me. I'm trying to get all the, the boxes and stuff, and I'm trying to avoid the bombs to not die. And avoid those things to jump over. And they're just, it was, this is probably the hardest part of this whole board. Is this little jump sequence part, because you're just like trying to go through these things, trying to jump around them. And then I hit thing, I'm like, ooh, dead. Only had three health things. And then you start all the way back here again, so. Then you gotta figure out how to get back there without losing health over this stupid pit. Which I think I. Up there it goes, and then. Gotta go down the hill again. And someone using the purple thing to speed me up. Or the blue thing to speed me up. The blue lightning power! Trying to figure this out. This part really frustrated me. I'm pretty sure I died about three good times, four good times maybe. Oh, jump, jump! We're killing it. We're killing it. We're killing it. Oh, we're killing it. We're killing it. We're killing it. Oh, I'm dead. Yep, can to die. It's the failed attempt. Oh, there it goes. Same crate, I think. Actually, same crate. Go lay down your bed, go. Lay down. Go ahead. There you go. There you go. Chew on the toy. Well, I do what I gotta do, Kobo. You know how it goes. And then, pretty much, pretty much it. That's all I gotta say for this commentary video. I'm gonna probably play some music and I'll let you guys enjoy until the end when I say my last part. As always, stay wise and enjoy.
everyone, we're back. Thank you for staying tuned till the end. As always, stay wise. Thank you for joining the Fortress of Bad Gaming Decisions. And until next time, and don't forget to hit that comment, like, subscribe button. And I hope you guys enjoy my Jack series. We're going to be coming out with part 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 until I beat the game. And then we're going to do Jack 2 and 3. So, stay tuned, everyone. Appreciate you guys.